music makes the people come together. That was a line from a song spoken by the world's greatest musical artist of all time, Madonna. And that really speaks to what we're talking about here in this episode. Because this episode's about music. And music is a part of our lives since even before birth. I mean, have you seen those pictures of the pregnant ladies holding headphones to their stomach playing them classical music? Like they can hear it? What's with that? That's weird. What if your kid's a Pearl Jam man? Anyway, this week we've got a pop of culture first. A first in the world of pop of culture. And I'm not going to tell you about it, but I can sing you about it. No, no, cameraman shaking his head. No, let's just get started. Good whatever time we air, Pop of Culture fans. I'm Stan Landman, and with me, as not always, is my co-host, Oslo Wisconsin, who is in timeout right now because he got a piece of fan mail. That letter was from you, from the communication episode. You're in timeout! Anyway, with me instead is my producer, Ramses James. He's a bang-up guy. He's a great dude. How you doing there, Ramses? Musical, Stan. Look, don't. Don't read the cue cards, all right? You don't have to read the cue cards. It's perfectly fine. Just, you know, look at me. Look at me. It's perfectly fine to just, you know, talk naturally. Uh, you, you don't have to read the cue cards. I don't read the cue cards ever. They're garbage, all right? Musical. Well, how about that, huh? Well, that leads us right into our banter segment for this evening. Ramses, what kind of music do you like? Well, I enjoy a nice Merlot with my dinner, but I'm no tea toddler of any sorts. Yeah, I like to keep things professional. So you like professional music, then? Yeah, I guess you could say that. I uh, enjoy the nice guitar, the slow guitar. Uh, you know that guy that uh, is at restaurants that goes around to your tables playing music? I adore that man. Oh, so have you ever thought of a career in music? Well, there's a lot of money to be made in producing music. Uh, it's actually why I became a producer in general. <laughs> you uh, you uh, throw away money like it's nothing on this show. <laughs> right you are, Ramses. Speaking of, how much does an album cost? An album? I don't know. Like, around, like... Four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand dollars. Four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, I don't have that much on me right now, so uh, do you think we could sell pieces of the set to make this work? Yeah, sell anything you want. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, we can make my album. This will be great. Oh, 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 what else do we have on the show for well, today? Actually, we have an interview with an up-and-coming musician. He was actually on your show. Mm -hmm. uh, he's getting kind of popular. He's even going to play a live performance. It could no. be like, really good for no. the show, though. No, 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 no. Make a lot of money. We're not the... going to do that. Just... Instead, the boys back there, they're going to start selling some of this stuff. Uh, and we are, we are going to start, we're going to start recording. We are, this is going to be the odyssey of Stan Landman's first album. I want that up as a graphic right now. Now, we need to get things situated real quick, so we're going to take a quick commercial break. But when we come back... You're going to see the recording process. It's going to be magic. We'll be right back. The corporation that I work for is out to get me. Well, I don't have enough money to file a lawsuit. Has this ever happened to you? You want to file a lawsuit, but it's just too expensive? Well, I'm here to help. Hi! I'm Bill Shavlosky from Bill Shavlosky's Lawsuit Emporium, where crime does pay! That makes sense. Here's a quick list of crimes that your boss may be committing that you could take him down with. We've got inappropriate use of hello, chewing too loud, bad luck, terrible driving, horrible fashion sense, and co-host negligence. It's a real crime. We hit a home run when it comes to these lawsuits. Your boss has been making you burn the midnight oil, so you deserve this. Just slap him with one of my lawsuits and you'll be free as if you were a bird. We mowed down the competition. Yeah, that's all I got. Need a lawsuit now? Call 1-800-IT'S-A-REAL-CRIME. That's right, call 1-800-ITSA-REAL-CRIME. But you better hurry though, because these lawsuits go
Thank you. I'm just gonna do a sound check real quick. <coughs> I think it'll be fine. Uh, how was that? Good. All right. <coughs> this song is called Knowing, and uh, it's just the vocal track, so don't get too amazed. Otherwise, the real ones are gonna blow your mind. Sometimes, girl, you know when the rhythm shake and flow. I get in real close and I whisper in your ear. Baby, you know that you know that I know that I know that I know that I love knowing you. That was good. Here's the music video. <clears throat> Sometimes, girl, you know when the rhythm shake and flow, and I get in real close, and I whisper in your ear, baby, you know. That you know that I know That I know that I know That I love Knowing you I, lo I, I love it I love knowing you I love, you know, kind of being around you You know, you're okay, whatever Wow, well that was That was really something How'd you do that? Well, while you were talking I got work done Oh If it's all that fast My album's gonna be done in no time Yep here you go. Oh. Oh my god. My unrecorded album, it's recorded. Yeah, well, I booked you for a bunch of promotion tours, so we gotta get off this god-awful show. Oh, what? Oh. Uh, okay. Well, the boys in the back, they're gonna uh, sell you. You sell some things. That's okay. Uh, uh, we're gonna go on the promotion. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. We're gonna go on the promotion tour. We'll be back. What? This is all good. Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen. We're now in the uh, the promotion phase of Stan Landman's first album. I got a box of my first album right here. We've taken to the streets of Minehead, and uh, <laughs> I'm just going to see what kind of prey I can hook. Carry the box for a bit. <sighs> Where is everybody? It's seven in the morning. I'm up. On a Saturday. I'm up. Oh, my head should be up too. <sighs> I'm so bad. You want to buy a CD? No. Would you like to buy a CD, please? No. Would you like to buy a CD, please? Oh, thanks. Damn, Zs. I haven't sold a single CD yet. What could be the problem? Oh, man. Is that little Stanny I see? Oh, no. Yeah, little Stanny. What's going on, buddy? My chase. How have you been? Doing okay. That's good. That's good. What do you want? What do you got? You uh, film a little something for your uh, TV show? The uh, pop-up book of cultures, right? Uh, Pop of culture, thank you. Yeah, yeah, you guys still number uh, still number one in the 4.15 a.m. time slot, right? We are, actually. We beat Ron Popeil like three times. So. Oh, wow, big accomplishment, big accomplishment. So what are you guys doing for this little segment for your show? Selling stuff. You know, what you, what, selling what? CDs. Oh, CDs, huh? Whose CDs? My CD. Your CD, ooh. You know what, Stan? I'll buy one for, for me, buddy. Okay. You know what? Make it two. Keep the change. Later, Stan.
Yeah, it is actually. Thank you. Hey! Oh, that guy's great. I wish I had him. As oh, come on, Ramses. Please. You know, he won an award for this. I don't style. want. He has literally <gasps> 10,000 more views. Than Ramses! Ramses! This day is. You know, much 10,000. Ramses, shut up, Ramses. Ramses, look. Ramses, look. look. That's Franklin Wright. Yeah. That's Franklin Wright from the Mindhead Movers. Yeah. I'm quarterback, want, right? uh, yeah, he's the quarterback. He's the quarterback of the Minded Movers. I'm going to see if he wants my CD. Sweet. One sec. Franklin! He's not. Franklin! Three, two, one. Bitches! <laughs> he wanted your CDs? <laughs> I was off by a couple seconds if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> We're gonna have an episode preview for next week. And when we come back, Franklin Wright, I got a message for you. Okay. <laughs> How much are we getting for the carpet? That's not bad, I guess. How about the chairs? We can just go to Dan Federici's discount chairs and get new ones. I, I, I don't care if they smell like garbage. Just wash them in body spray or something. Next episode? I don't know. Color. That's easy enough. Go, uh, join, join us next week where, where we'll color. Girl, you know, when the rhythm shake and flow, and I get in real close, and I whisper in your ear, baby, you know, that you know that I know, that I know that I know that I love her.